Hey guys, W. Thomas here. Happy Thursday to everyone. Today I am going to update my Trezor firmware. So I received a notification this morning that um, they have updated the firmware to 1.5.0, which will actually enable ERC20 tokens for Ethereum and uh, it will also enable support for Litecoin because right now on my Trezor I only can store Bitcoin, Dash, Zcash and then there's sort of like a backdoor Ether access which links to the My Ethereum wallet so with this update it actually um, brings it all in-house so to speak so let's get started and we're going to update the firmware so I'm going to plug in the Trezor and let's see here enter the old password All right, so we have our message that a new firmware is available. details of course it gives instructions on how to update the firmware all right so let's give that a try all right guys so through the magic of editing I had to do some troubleshooting to get my Trezor updated to the new firmware as you can see here, it is now on 1.5.0. Um, so they actually have two wallets. They have the regular Trezor wallet, and then there's a beta wallet because um, apparently the new upgrade or the new firmware has features that may not be uh, useful for every Trezor user. So that's why. I I had to update it um, on this special link, but also the directions had said to um, hold down both Trezor buttons. If you're not familiar with the Trezor, um, there are two buttons that you have to hold down and then plug it in. I'll show you the buttons right here. So it says here to hold down both buttons and then plug in your Trezor. And what I found out is that the buttons are very sensitive. So actually what I had to do was, as I was holding down both buttons and I was about to plug in the USB, as soon as I plugged in the USB, I had to quickly release both buttons, which was something I wasn't doing before. So that's why um, the delay. So if you have a Trezor and you're trying to update it, then you may need to do, uh, do that as well. Um, on the forums, a few um, individuals have mentioned that they've tried numerous times um, to get it, uh, to take the firmware update. I even tried to wipe it and restore it using my seed, and you know that didn't, um, that didn't force it into the new update. So just a heads up. So that's something that Trezor can definitely improve upon, um, is the experience when updating your firmware. All right, so we've got the Litecoin wallet finally available on Trezor. And uh, what I'll do 
I will send a transaction to Trezor. I think my wallet timed out here. Let's get our receive address. All right, so we're going to send a test transaction to the Trezor Litecoin wallet. So let's get our receiving address. send a little bit of Litecoin, you know, just to test it out. And there it is. So that was pretty fast. All right. So I'll send the rest of it later. But I just want to, you know, make that quick video, show you guys that um, Litecoin was uh, or is finally available, uh, finally available on Trezor. So you can secure your wealth if you have Litecoin and you own the Trezor wallet. All right, guys. Sorry for the length of the video, but I uh, had a little technical difficulties with the Trezor and had to do a little troubleshooting with that. All right, guys, if you liked the video, please comment, like, and as always, subscribe. All right, until the next video, have a good day. Thanks.